Hello, my name is Chris Palmer, and in today's video, I want to teach you when you should start link building. So in 2020, link building is still a very crucial part of any SEO campaign. And in this video, I want to cover exactly when you should start for your brand new website. Now, this question does come up quite frequently, so I really wanted to make a dedicated video touching on this point. So, exactly when should you start? And to really sum this up, your link building efforts start immediately as soon as you start your campaign. Now, what do I mean by this? Well, generally when you begin a project, all right, your link building campaign will start with, of course, your website. But after the website, the very first piece that you need to begin building is going to be your social entities. Some may call this a fortress of social entities, your social profiles. So off of your main website, and I'm going to walk through this very simply, is going to be your social profiles. So social profiles could be some of the main social profiles going down to some of the lesser known social profiles, but these are some of the very first links that you would build. Now, with that being said, you have your main website, but let's just say that this is actually your homepage. Now you will not start your other link building until you have built out your site or your filler pages, but I'll get more into this in a moment. So you have your filler pages. That's your home page, your main page. You're going to have your about us. You're also going to have your contact us, your terms of service, your privacy, so on and so forth. But what you need to start doing before any link building starts. Now, link building could be PBNs, PBN rentals, niche edits. This could be anything, manual outreach, guest posts, anything, okay? You need to create and have your pillar content. So your pillar content is going to be five to 10 pieces of long form content directly related to your website. Now, that could be anything you want but it has to be long form and directly related to the keywords that you want to target to start bringing in traffic. In order to build links, there has to be an event. So if you're not getting traffic, if you don't have social entities, if you're not generating traffic or creating event, then you should not be building links. So what I mean by pillar content, like I mentioned, is long form content, something directly related to your main keywords. So this is going to be five to 10. Now, of course you could build these out. You can make silos out of them. You can build more pages, but with that being said, you have your five to 10 pieces of pillar content. And if you stick with me, I can answer questions. I'm making the video here. All right. If anybody's in the chat, but in any case, you have your five to 10 pieces of pillar content. Now this is an event. So now we're going to start talking about doing our link building. So we build out our social profiles. We have our whole site built, all of our filler pages. Okay. We have our pillar pieces of content. Now this pillar content could have just been indexed or we've just written it. This is when the very first link and that very first link that you send to your homepage, which we're going to send it to our homepage. This is crucial. You need to send one link here to the homepage that is as powerful as you can afford or the best link that you can get. Relevance doesn't matter as far as passing juiced. However, that very first link, we want it to be powerful and we want it to be relevant. If you want to build halfway relevant or not so relevant later, fine. But that first link, I cannot emphasize this enough, highly relevant and ultra powerful. So this very first link, one link, not two, not 10, not a hundred, not a thousand. Okay. One link to the homepage within the first two to three weeks. Now, this is a step that I run into a lot of people that I speak with that might skip this step when starting a new link building campaign after they've built out their content is there also needs to be links sent to the social entities. Now that could be your main Facebook, your LinkedIn, whatever is Whatever is going to be your main entity to start bringing in some traffic, send a link, get it indexed, 
Make it known when people search your brand business service product, it pops up. Now, we build out links within the first two to three weeks to our social. One link, maybe two, the most relevant, most powerful to our homepage. As the weeks go on, as soon as you start seeing indexation here on this pillar content, what a great way to start and put out a press release. A press release could be written at any time, but I feel after the site is built, after the social entities are indexed, because they're going to show up fast, after you send out that one initial link to jumpstart stuff at the homepage, then start building out a press release. Now, I wouldn't skimp on the first one, all right? Don't go to your favorite Fiverr provider for 40 bucks or 50 bucks for a distribution of 300 sites. I know it's tempting. However, take that initial investment, get your site on a quality service. You know who they are, okay? And make sure, this is a quick tip, some sites will purge or get rid of the press releases within two, three months. Some will let them sit a year or two years. Might I suggest maybe perhaps because you know how thoughts change, you know how industries change, you know how maybe you're working for somebody, things change. Make sure that you have something that has longevity, like it's not going to purge out in a month or two, but not the real long ones that are really cheap and put some iframes in there. So if you're working for a client, maybe you want to swap out content. Maybe it's like almost like a little bonus link. It's like a, a view into another site. So that's just a, a way to get a little added boost and some benefit. I'm getting off track here, but in any case, you have your pillar content. You've sent your one to two links here. This is when a site's just starting out first two to three weeks. Now you first have your indexation here. You have your Websites put in here. You're just starting to get things indexed, get the juice flowing. Now it is time. You're going to start seeing some ranking here. Now you have your press le you have your press releases out. Now it's time to start building out some more content to support your pillar content. This is also known as siloing. Some might not think it's good. It's just a page structure. It's irrelevant. You could call it whatever you want. How about just building more content and doing more content marketing? I call it silo. How, or you might call it content marketing. Build more content to support the pillar content and start building links to it. So that's really going to wrap up when to start link building. If you have any questions regarding link building, if you have questions about link building strategy, techniques, digital marketing, Facebook ads, affiliate marketing, I mean really anything digital marketing or link building, anything SEO, please leave it in the comments below. And I look forward to seeing you in the next link building SEO video. Have a wonderful day.